Do the table saw. All right. you decide you want to build one of these and you don't have a dado stack here, I know they frown upon these things in Europe, uh, you don't really have to have one. If you're doing multiples, it makes it really nice to cut all that out at one time. But if you got a regular table saw with a, just a single blade up there, you can come in here and make a cut here, measure over, make a cut there, and then just go back and forth and work it across there and cut all that out maybe take a chisel and cut that. But I have a dado stack. It makes quick work doing a whole bunch of these. Okay, for this step, Roy's taking the W pieces and he's cutting a rabbit on each end so that they'll fit together with the U's. And it's gonna look like this. You could do this with two passes with the table saw but since we have a dado stack, we're using our dado set to uh, cut the rabbits. So we're going to cut a rabbit on both ends of the W's. Doing repetitive makes it a whole lot easier. If you're not used to using a table saw, uh, you always want to steady your work with either the fence or the guide, uh, miter guide here. You do not want to use both at the same time. So that's why I space off, I'm just using this as a spacer and then I'm pushing my board with just a miter guide here 
you do not want to have it where you're against the fence and the miter guide at the same time. Uh, that can cause some serious kickback problems. So uh, anytime you can use one of these or you can use the other one, but don't use them at the same time. Little safety tip there. So the project that we're working on now is our insulated layens hives. These are going to be 20 frame horizontal hives and so this is a different build than we did last year. We uh, are using the plans that we downloaded for free again from Dr. Leo's website horizontalhive.com. He has very good instructions uh, for a material list and also a uh, cut list on how to cut your materials for very little waste. So on the dimensional lumber to build one of these uh, insulated hives, we needed one two by four by eight, one one by four by eight, and one one by four by six, and that would build one of the uh, insulated hives. The plywood cut sheet that comes with Dr. Leo's plans explains that it's better use of your plywood if you build three at a time. It, it is a more effective use of your plywood. And so we multiplied our dimensional lumber list by three and we're building three at one time. So this is the um, stack of the dimensional lumber that we cut yesterday, cut to length and cut to width. And each part is labeled with a letter so that it makes putting it together um, very easy. Just wanted to let you see how much waste we had or leftover we had from that cut list. We had three little pieces of the two by fours left and just very little bit of the one by four material left. Now, when we cut um, some of the cross pieces, this one, which is labeled a R, is really bowed. It bowed terribly. So we do have enough of the one by four material left to cut a new piece one of these to replace this one that's bowed terribly. So this one's going in the burn pile and we are going to cut a replacement R out of uh, this piece of one by four that we had left over. So our next step after this is going to be to get out our plywood and to uh, figure out the cut list, the cut um, sheet on the plywood.
You may be wondering what I'm using here. This is a Craig Rip Cut, I think is what this one is called. So you got a 90 degree here and you've got this sled and mo uh, most uh, circular saws can fit on that sled and you adjust it and lock it in. And then you can set your uh, pointer here and I tell you, I've ripped plywood since I was 12, 15 years old, and this is by far the easiest way I've found to cut plywood. You know, breaking these big sheets down, it's way easier than trying to do it on the table saw. Uh, if you had the table saws, the industrial ones that had the slide side on it, that would be great, but just every day, uh, this thing works fantastic and it's basically all I use that little trim saw for is I leave it on here all the time Works great. I'm not You know uh, affiliated with anybody, but uh, well worth the money So we use our Craig rip cut to rip all the long pieces of plywood now we're doing cross cut and a while back I made a crosscut sled to fit my 20 inch Dewalt. So it's a piece of uh, quarter inch plywood with uh, a couple more pieces here that's glued and stapled together. So all I'm doing here is where Shirley puts her line, I put this edge right where, right on the pencil mark. Uh, she's using a square to put it in there. So if you look, you can see the pencil mark there. So when you make a crosscut sled, you leave it wide, and then you just take your cross, your saw that you're making it for, and you make a cut with it. And when you make that cut with the saw, it's always going to be that wide. Uh, so makes it a whole lot easier. So we just put this on the line and make our cuts. So that's our waste off of four sheets of plywood. Uh, so I think that turned out pretty good. Well, there's, there's some little narrow strips too. Narrow strips. There's like four of these. <laughs> yeah, and there's three or four strips like this. But uh, all in all, I think that's a pretty efficient use of the plywood. I think so too. That. I might have enough here to build me a birdhouse or mm -hmm. kind of wanting to build a mason bee. Uh, house mm -hmm. for mason bees. Yeah. That looks like plenty of material to do that. You always use a scrap piece of plywood for something.
The next step of the process is to cut a notch in the uh, pieces of plywood that are marked A and C. So we've got some little blocks that Roy cut out four of the two sizes and we've got those labeled A and C and we're marking those and I think he's going to cut them out with the jigsaw. Well, we finished uh, preparing all of our materials for our insulated land hives. We spent yesterday uh, working on the dimensional lumber. We probably spent about five hours yesterday doing that. We used our circular saw and we did use the table saw to rip some of those pieces down to width. Today we've been working on breaking down the sheet goods. That's the uh, four sheets of plywood and we've ended up with enough uh, parts to build three of the uh, insulated hives from this material list. So again, we downloaded the plans for free from Dr. Leo's website, horizontalhive.com. We've used the uh, tools that we had. We had circular saws, we had a table saw. Uh, but quite frankly, uh, you could build this project using a hand saw and a ruler. I mean, that's, that's what you've got to have. It will take you a little bit longer to do it with a hand saw and quite a bit of elbow grease, but you can get it done that way. So you can, you know, use what you have. You don't have to have a fancy shop to get it done in. Uh, we're doing it in our backyard. It's a beautiful day. So um, luckily we've run into some really nice weather and, uh, and been able to do that uh, over the last couple of days. So again, we've got all of our parts here. They're all labeled. So we'll start the process of assembling the hives tomorrow, and that's going to be another whole video. Um, we do appreciate you guys watching. We've been really surprised at some of the uh, some of our videos have gotten quite a quite a bit of views, and we do appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do that and help us to keep growing. Thank you so much. Be sure and give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you when we start the assembly process. That board warped enough that it popped and bowed that way. Oh my goodness, when we cut it. So we we're trying to get rid of a bow and we have a bow in a different direction. Look how much, wow, wow. That's how much stress was in the middle of that board. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but wow. This still might be a better piece. It may be better bowing, being bowed instead of curved. <laughs> yeah.
because it's going to be mounted like this, I think. So it may still be better than the other boat piece that we we're trying to replace. Okay. Wow. Forces of nature. <laughs>